almost got to him. Garantano steps up. And it is caught! Callaway! Option. Bowden keeps it. And he's stopped! Tennessee turns Kentucky over on downs for the third time this half. Spots. Hooker, well protected. Wide open is Hyatt running free. A total bust and a quick strike for the Volunteers. Look in that direction on a slam. Huge hit. Ball picked off. The Volunteers on the carom make an interception. And now Milton off the play fake. Takes another deep shot toward the end zone for a touchdown. Chaz Nimrod. 17 yards. Samson from the 12. Up the middle. Touchdown. He wants a piece on the 12. This is a basketball school. It's always been there. I'm, I'm, I'm going to need your help with this one. I'm going to need your help with this one. Come here. Come on. Come on. All right. Sit. All right. Tell me. <laughs> Kentucky sucks. <laughs> Kentucky sucks. Kentucky sucks at football. Yeah, they suck at football. Mark Stewart sucks. Brock Vandergriff sucks. Who else sucks at Kentucky? Yeah, Kentucky sucks. That's right. That's right. Kentucky sucks. Does Kentucky suck? Do they? They suck. They suck. They suck a whole lot. KFC sucks. Mark Stoops sucks. Yeah, that's what I thought. Good girl. Come on. There you go. Kentucky sucks at football. You know how when you reach that point in the season where you play a bunch of juggernauts and you're like, man, I sure do wish we could play against a team that sucks and we know we're going to beat. Like an FCS team. Like a, like a UTEP or a, a Chattanooga. Or Kentucky. I don't get it for the life of me, but a whole bunch of Kentucky fans run around every single year in every sport we play. Uh, basketball, football, baseball. Every every time Kentucky and Tennessee step up to play any sport in America, every single time. Oh, Tennessee, get ready to get owned. Tennessee, ready to get owned. Kentucky will show up this time. Oh, Tennessee, they're going to lose in their Super Bowl. This is the Super Bowl for Tennessee. It's the Super Bowl for us, too, because we're going to dominate Tennessee. And then what happens? <laughs> you get Kyle Shanahan. That's what you. Ha that's what happens. Kentucky is the Kyle Shanahan of the Tennessee-Kentucky Super Bowl because every time they step up in their Super Bowl, they die. Literally die instantly. They can't beat Tennessee in anything. Anything at all. They just can't. Baseball, they get owned in that. Kentucky ba basketball. Oh, wow. Remember that one time we beat you in the regular season? Sweet tar. Well, well, congratulations. How far did you get in the tournament? Please let me know. I'd really like to know that. Um, But, yeah. Oh, remember, but you don't have any Final Fours. And Kentucky's got a lot of those. It's a Kentucky fan thing to reminisce in the past because that's what they do whenever they talk about football, too. Remember those? Remember all those times? Like those three times in the last 500 years when uh, Tennessee lost to Kentucky? No. No. This is the same exact thing I have to explain to Alabama and Florida fans, and I have to explain it to you on a more kindergarten level because you're too stupid to understand football. You're so far gone when it comes to football that you presented yourself as being out of any sort of sport until you reach March. And even then, you crap on yourselves and die. Look at your performance in March as of recently. You can't get past the round of 32. I know there's a lot. I know this is a football trash talking video, but let's be honest. Kentucky fans have already zoned out for this season. If you go out and get whooped by Peyton Thorne, in foot, you just don't, you know, you don't have a chance. Auburn beats you. Auburn went into that stupid ass Kroger Field 
and beat you. There's nothing else I need to say. There's, what else can be done? What else can I say? That in itself is more embarrassing than any words I could say in this video. And you know that. You know that. That's why you're toned out for the entire season. You don't care about it anymore. You don't. Neither does your administration. How long has Mark Stoops been at... Uh, Mark Stoops has been at Kentucky for over a decade. And what what's the best he's done? Win the Citrus Bowl? The Citrus Bowl! Woo Tennessee had a down year last season with Joe Milton. And they won the Citrus Bowl. You think we're running around celebrating it every single year? No. No, we're a better program than you in football, and you know that. And after everything Mark Stoops has put you all through, you know, you've settled for mediocrity at Kentucky. You know that to be the truth. You've settled for being a seven or eight win team every single year. That's your peak. That's what you're known for. That's, that's the peak of your season. That's the exact peak of the Mark Stoops era right there. Continuous seven, eight, win seasons. We all so down bad this year. <laughs> You've somehow gone below that. You've somehow managed to fail expectations and you're sitting here staring down the barrel of a five win season. Let me, let me, let me count this for you. Let me count this. You need this many wins to make a bowl game. This is how many you're probably getting. You might get this many. Don't forget Louisville. Louisville, you still got to play them too. But yeah, you got to play Tennessee on the road tomorrow. Do I, need I say more? And then you got to play Texas on the road. You got to play Texas on the road. Come on. I mean, you think you're winning that? No, no, you don't. You got you to gotta win one of those two games in order to make a bowl game. You trust Mark Stoops to do that? If you, have, if you actually think Mark Stoops is going to roll into either of those stadiums and get a win, then I'm sorry, but there's no hope for you. There, there, there just isn't. You'd be better off moving on to basketball already because the blind delusion you carry throughout this entire season is just going to end up with you being extremely disappointed by the end of it. I hate to point to streaks and be like, oh, this is the reason why we're going to beat you because we beat you this time out of this many years. But take a look at the Tennessee-Kentucky series. It is literally more lopsided than the Tennessee-Vandy series. That's how terrible you are. You're below Vanderbilt. You are. And you're below him this year, too. You got beat by him. Again, in Kroger Field. How in the world is it that y'all are better on the road than you are at home? Well, I guess it shouldn't be that surprising. Kroger Field is a, it's a full-on dump. Well, what was that? What was that? Oh, Nothing. Just that, that was just Brock Vandergrift throwing another pick six. Nothing to worry about. I could get on here and tell you about how Tennessee is going to put out 11 million points on you and Nico is going to go for 500 touchdowns and all of that. But we all know that Nico has not played good or played up to the expectations that us fans put on him. And that's okay. That's okay. We know that no matter how bad he ends up playing in this game, it's still going to be better than whatever the hell you put out there on the field. Have you seen the absolute mess that your quarterbacks put on the field every single week? It's a God-given miracle if they end up scoring a passing touchdown. That's how bad Kentucky is at passing the ball. So what do you got left? Well, you got the run game. You got the run game. That's it. Bad news for you though. You're heading a, you're heading to Neyland Stadium to face off against not a top 10 rushing defense, not a top five rushing defense. The number one rushing defense in the entire country. You're going on the road to face off against the top rushing defense in the entire country. You might be lucky to score over zero rushing yards you might be lucky to get that many and then good lord gerald mincy gerald mincy hits the transfer portal out of tennessee and goes to kentucky and starts running his mouth about tennessee starts running his mouth he going on twitter tennessee this the offensive line doo-doo and we're, we're gonna roll into them and punch them in the mouth or whatever 
You absolute clown. Do you know anything about this series? Do you know anything about your what, what you're rolling into? You just pissed off an entire... One of the most hostile fan bases in the entire universe. And, and you think you're going to be forgiven for that? No! No! As bad as the whoopings we've given y'all recently, what you're going to be experiencing tomorrow is going to be far worse than anything you could ever anticipate. And I, for one, will be smiling through the entire thing. I do have to thank y'all, because if it wasn't for Kentucky football, it's much less likely that Tennessee would be wearing the dark mode uniforms every single year. Like we always do. We wear the dark uniforms every year now, and we look great doing it. One of the best uniforms in the country. But if we had a losing record with those uniforms, I doubt we'd be wearing them. It's like the orange helmets. It's like those. We don't want to wear those. We're all in one all time with them. But with Kentucky, the dark uniforms have a very, very high success rate. Then again, to be fair, any uniform we wear against you has a high success rate. You can't beat us. So look, for those of you who have already come to terms with what's to be, all I'm going to tell you is just get ready, accept your whooping, and then move on to the cupcake you play next week. For those of you who are still holding on to some sort of hope, that Kentucky is going to roll into Neyland Stadium and beat Tennessee in their home turf with the dark uniforms, all I can tell you is... Pick up your shovel and get back to the coal mines, baby! Go Big Orange! Tennessee is going to put the belt-to-ass whooping of a lifetime on the Kentucky Wildcats, and I, for one, will enjoy every single second of it. Go Vols, baby!